Shopify, the Canadian e-commerce platform for small, medium-sized businesses, growth has been stellar over the last five years. Can it maintain that momentum or is it going to struggle going forward with more competition and e-solutions out there? That got me digging into the charts to see where the price could be heading next. Hello, I'm Stephen Ho, trader and founder of The Stop Hunter. So before we can carry on, a risk warning for you to pay close attention to. The content in this video is not investment advice, so please seek the advice, help of financial professionals or financial advisors before investing and trading. And trading and investing involves a high degree of risk and your money is at risk, so be very careful. So with that out the way, let's get on with the analysis. We can see quite clearly from the weekly line chart the growth of Shopify from really 2018. It has, like I said, been pretty stellar up to highs around $1650 before just recently pulling off back down to that you know, 1300 area, which is a 78.6% Fibonacci line. There's a lot of noise then below that, just above $1,000, 1060 and then possible further downsides, 38.2% at 696. But as you can see from that price trajectory, it has been very, very positive and bullish. And we're talking more medium, longer term here, but if it can break those 1650 uh, high areas, then next upsides could be just over 2000, around 2100. And then after that, around a 2300 area so got some very good upside still possibly to come there so in terms of signals at the moment the bottom two lines there both starting to turn bullish from recently being a bit more bearish negative volatility picking up and as we can see recently after the earnings volume has also spiked above its longer term moving average. And if we head on to the price, the two standard deviation regre regression bands, that's the salmon pink and light blue lines, you can see which I actually set from March 2020, you can see the price trading very nicely within those bands, either you know reversing from the peaks uh, or vice versa from the bottoms of those bands. In terms of the two pink line block breakout setup, currently actually is on a sell signal so a bit negative there but at the bottom of that two standard deviation uh, regression band so it could be a consolidation zone area there but generally you could say it's a weak bullish uh, yeah, weak bullish um, setup at the moment on the Renko chart views a $15 block size and our three signals at the bottom are all currently bearish but the day action after the earnings has seen a bit of a positive recovery to the downside then probably 1300 area 1200 area and then just above the thousand dollars interesting to check what the options open interest is around those numbers as well price is trading above the 200 moving average and you know within the bands of the breakout uh, block pink line system there and upsides well we get to the mid 1500s highs into those mid 1600s then 1700 and just under 1900 in the shorter term so although price over the last few months has been a bit sideways in a reasonable range things may be starting to brew a bit more bullish but probably worth just waiting for the right timing to get into Shopify at the moment. So I'm going to score Shopify a week bullish. Heiken Ashi, i.e. the sort of more longer term of the chart analysis there, indicating a bit more of a bullish outlook rather than the Renko short term, which is a bit more neutral, even a bit weak uh, bearish. But like I said, timing is essential to get into the trade here. So 
So focusing on the signals, 1.62, 2.5 to 1 to the upside. If you're a bit more bullish aggressive into the downside, 1 to 1, 1 1.77 to 1. So overall, Shopify on the technical analysis review, weak bullish. So there still looks to be a lot of possible upside still for Shopify. They have been growing quite spectacularly over the last few years, but whether they can stay ahead of the curve, who knows? There's a lot more competition out there now. So let me know in those comments below what you think is going to happen to Shopify and where you think the price is heading next or whether you agree or disagree with today's analysis. And if you've liked the technical analysis I've used and you want to learn more, I'll put a link in the description below for you to follow. And if you like today's video, please give us the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to receive further notification of content and video I'm going to produce just like this. And all that's left for me to say now is thanks for watching, good luck with the trading, and I'll see you in the next video.